Metabolism refers to the set of chemical processes that occur within the body to convert the food you consume into energy. In the context of exercise and fitness, however, it involves understanding how your body processes and uses energy from the food you consume and how factors like exercise, muscle mass, and nutrition can influence the rate at which your body burns calories. Thus, we are more concerned about metabolic rate or total daily energy expenditure. You see, the higher your total daily energy expenditure is, the faster your metabolism, thus the more calories you burn on average. Increasing your metabolic rate offers several benefits, including enhanced enjoyment of food without the fear of weight gain and accelerated fat loss without the need for excessive dietary restriction or intense exercise. Not only that, but a higher metabolic rate also makes it far easier to maintain long-term results. In this video, I want to share five ways to increase your metabolism so that you can burn fat more effectively and keep the weight off permanently. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number one, lift weights regularly. There are two main benefits you'll experience from lifting weights. First, you burn more calories. According to this study published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology, your metabolism can stay elevated for up to 38 hours after a lifting session. This is due to something called EPOC or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Simply put, it's the amount of oxygen you need to recover from the workout session and return to a completely resting state. Research shows that the increase in metabolic rate could be anywhere from 4 to 12 percent post-workout and that the higher the intensity of the activity the stronger the afterburn effect and second resistance training stimulates muscle growth this muscle growth in turn becomes a driving force behind a revved up metabolism you see, muscle tissue is inherently metabolically active. It requires a constant turnover of proteins, meaning it consumes more calories at rest compared to fat tissue. To keep things simple, a pound of muscle burns about 6 to 10 calories per day at rest, while a pound of fat burns just 2 to 3 calories. This is why, according to a handful of studies, resistance training increases participants' metabolic rates anywhere from 5 to 9 percent. And in all of those studies, the increase in metabolism is always coupled with both an increase in lean mass and a decrease in fat mass. Thus, it's easy to see that having more muscle tissue is one of the best ways to increase your metabolism in the short and long term. Number two, caffeine. Caffeine is one of the most effective and easily accessible supplements for increasing your metabolism. According to research, caffeine has been shown to increase metabolic rate by 7 to 13 percent. Research also suggests that caffeine increases the caloric cost of physical activity compared to the caloric cost of the same physical activity without caffeine. This is because caffeine can directly potentiate skeletal muscle force, work, and power. Caffeine also serves as a potent performance enhancer, indirectly elevating metabolism by enabling more extended and intense training sessions. This results in increased calorie expenditure during workouts, elevated post-workout epoch levels, and a more effective hypertrophy stimulus for greater muscle mass development. Overall, caffeine is a metabolic powerhouse that enhances your calorie burning capacity through multiple pathways. Not only does it directly impact metabolism, but it also indirectly boosts your metabolic rate by improving exercise performance. This combination of effects makes caffeine a valuable tool for optimizing your metabolism, especially when paired with a solid lifting routine. Number 3. Eat More Food Eating more food in the context of increasing metabolism is not about overindulgence, but rather ensuring that you provide your body with an adequate amount of calories and nutrients to support its functions. Not only will this make it far easier to maintain our metabolically active muscle tissue, but eating more will help prevent metabolic adaptations. You see, when you consistently consume too few calories, your body can perceive this as a form of starvation and response 
respond by slowing down its metabolic rate. This is an evolutionary survival mechanism to conserve energy. In other words, if you consistently eat too little, your body adapts by burning fewer calories to make up for the deficit. Thus, going too low on your calories for a sustained period leads to a slower metabolism which results in less fat loss. And although consuming more food doesn't directly boost your metabolism, this approach ensures that you're not undermining the other steps you're taking to enhance your metabolism and help safeguard your long-term metabolic health. Number 4. A High Protein Diet this highly detailed study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition reveals that excess energy from protein acutely stimulates 24-hour energy expenditure by as much as 260 calories per day. This effect is unique to protein as excess energy from fat did not increase energy expenditure. These findings are substantiated by another study demonstrating that a high-protein total diet replacement increases energy expenditure and results in a negative fat balance in healthy adults. To put it simply, the research is clear that there is a metabolic advantage to consuming a high-protein diet. But how does protein actually increase your metabolism? Protein is metabolically expensive, requiring a significant calorie expenditure for digestion known as the thermic effect of food. Protein boasts the highest thermic effect of food among all macronutrients, accounting for 20-30% to compared to 5-10% to for carbs and 0-3% to for fat. Apart from the thermic effect, high protein feeding also seems to increase metabolism in other organs or tissues such as the liver and kidneys to catabolize the excess protein. The question then becomes, how much protein do we actually need to experience these benefits? Looking at the literature, 25% of your daily calorie intake seems to be a good minimum. For most people, this would put you at roughly 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily, an optimal protein intake for lifters looking to build muscle mass. And number 5. Elevate Your Neat Non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or NEAT, refers to the energy expended in everyday movements like walking, cleaning, and even fidgeting. NEAT significantly affects your metabolic rate and can burn up to 2,000 extra calories on top of your BMR depending on factors like occupational intensity. Small lifestyle changes such as parking farther from the store, choosing stairs over the elevator, standing during phone calls, or hand washing dishes can effectively elevate your NEAT and subsequently your metabolism. Improving your NEAT is by far the simplest and most effective way to improve your metabolism. And while it may not be as exciting as high-intensity workouts, supplementing with caffeine, or eating more food, these everyday activities are vital for a more active and metabolically efficient lifestyle. So there you have it. 5 Ways to Increase Your Metabolism By incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, you'll enjoy more energy, improve your training efficiency, and achieve the physique you desire. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter who's looking to get absolutely shredded without cutting out your favorite foods or doing hours of cardio each week, grab a copy of my brand new program, Shredded 12 Fat Loss. This is the only science-based fat loss program of its kind that protects your hard-earned muscle mass and strength and gives you a shredded physique in just 12 weeks. And right now, you can get an additional 25% off by using the coupon code RIP25. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.